Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my hauls! Yay! This one is an Ami Ami haul and I pre-ordered most of these items in early 2021 and their release dates were in June 2021. And I went with Surface Milk Premium as my shipping, so you know how long that takes. So I know I got these a few months late, I'm really excited to show you guys what I got, so Without further ado, let's get into it like always. So the first thing that came with my box is a postcard like always, which is really nice, you know? You get something for something, right? So here's a quick look at it. I mean, it goes so cute. They really gotta come out with a figure of her. I know a lot of us will want to buy it. One of the first things I'm excited to show is the Near Art Kora Kazuma Art Collection book. This one is an item that I've been expecting for quite a while. Um, I've had this haul in a box just waiting to be unboxed for a while. So this is one of the first times I'm actually looking at the art book without opening it. And let me just say, it's really beautiful inside. This is how the back looks. There's not really much to it. It's just a plain white cover. And the front is a really nice illustration of the three main characters from Nier, Nier Automata, and then Nier Reincarnation. And the side of the book just says near art and it says Kora Kazuma. Here are a few glimpses of the artwork inside the book for you all to see in case you're wondering whether or not you want to buy it yourself. A lot of it is just concept artwork but it's still very very beautiful. There's just something about near that we all love. For me, it's pretty much the lore, especially that Drakengard lore. Wow, that one is so interesting. Next, we have a near reincarnation plush of the character named Mama, which is pretty much a little ghost thing that follows you. The fabric is my favorite word, microfiber. It's really soft and squishy to squeeze. And then if you lift up the white silhouette, you could see Mama's little feet sees, which are so cute. They're just like little stubs. And the body is kind of like a gradient underneath. It goes from black to a little lighter gray and then to white. The eyes are a plastic material with a type of glossy reflection on them. So I can actually see my face if I want to. Not that I want to. There's not much to say about this plushie, but it's really cute and I do want to play Near Reincarnation someday. Someday. This is how the tag looks. It just says Reincarnation on it. And the inside is just the warning on it. Nothing too special. Really cute plush. So the next item I got was these cool little three small figures. These are a line called Imaginary Creatures by Ayumi Muramatsu. So there are three different color types. This one is the Roman Gencho. It says it's like a three set on the front of the box. So we shall see. Ayumi Muramatsu is pretty much a uh, base on what I'm looking at the box. A uh, imaginary creature designer. I actually lied. It is a six pack box. It just comes with three designs. Cool. So this is how the mini box design looks. It's pretty much the same thing as the front of the box. Let's take a look and see which one we got first. So this is how it looks inside the box. This sucks because now I have to put it together, which is something I don't like doing. These are the directions for putting it together. There are 13 pieces. It doesn't look too hard. Why can't it just make itself for me? I want that kind of magic. I want magic for things to make themselves for me. These are the parts of the body. It doesn't look too bad. <laughs> the second one looks like chicken feet. I really love the designs of these, which is why I decided to get it. It's something different. I like the fantasy original aesthetic of these figurines. I just realized that this is the design concept for these designs. It's nice seeing the first stage all the way to the end stage. This figure is so cool. It's so unique. I love the designs. It's just so fascinating to look at. I'm just in awe. The design of this imaginary creature is so unique. It's like a phoenix with a combination of a dragon. It's just so awesome and I love the design of the little flames coming out or like the smoke coming out of its mouth. So this one is the Hiren Rokucho, which is red brick. 
so nice. I'm just like, uh, the details are so beautiful. But wow, it comes with six of them. This would be a good gift to people who like fantasy stuff. This is simply marvelous. Well, at least for me, I like these kinds of things. The curve on the tail is so beautiful and it's carrying these hanging lanterns on them. It's so nice, so majestic. It's so light to carry too. So beautiful. And the face is so awesome. Oh my God. The paint job isn't too bad at all either. So here is the sunlight version, which is called Yoen Yokucho. This sunlight one is so beautiful. It has like a stained glass effect on the wings, which is a nice contrast to the overall dark theme that it's going, even though it's called sunlight. But it's probably because of the flames this flame-like creature has. It's so beautiful! And since it's a six pack, I basically got two of each which is nice, very nice. The company that made this is called Sota and they come out with a lot of unique creature figures. So I recommend checking them out on Ami Ami. And it honestly does not take that long to put together. It only took me like five minutes. And for the other ones, it'll probably even take three or two minutes, depending on how much I already know where to put the stuff. This sunlight one is my favorite out of the three designs, probably because there's more color contrast compared to the other two designs. The bronze one, it's just bronze. There's not much to say about it other than bronze. It's the same design, just the bronze color. And the red brick one is really nice too. There's just something about this one. The colors are just very appealing. I'm not gonna lie, the plastic material it's made out of, it feels really light, especially the, the legs when I was putting them on. Next, I got this Pokemon Scale World set. I love these Scale World ones. They're so cute. You get a little piece of your trainer and their Pokemon in a nice canon form. I got the Hoenn Scale World set with the Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire trainer design. We got Brandon and May. You know, all those good Pokemans. Of course, opening them up is similar to the Phoenix type creatures that I just opened up right now. So they come in small boxes with the figure inside and a little piece of candy. They're all numbered from one through six and it tells you what Pokemon are on the front of the box. Let's be honest though. Look at all this plastic for these small little things. It's really annoying. Look at the whole set. They are so cute. All the starters are so small. It's so adorable. I love this. This is just so precious. It sucks how you have to pay like $30 for Sceptile and Swampert. It sucks. It really does suck. Why can't they be $15 instead of $30? You know, not cool. The price of those starters is the equivalent of another whole set of Scare World figures, which is kind of weird. I just love this Scare World line. This is such a genius idea. And it lets you have those trainer figures that you always wanted in like a smaller size that don't really take up space, but at the same time do take up space, especially if you buy the complete set. But overall, I love the Scare World line and I have the Diamond and Pearl ones pre-ordered. I can't wait for the black and white ones too. The next figure is something I even surprised myself with. I got the Gloria and Sabo figure by Kotobukiya. It's surprising to me because I never played Sword and Shield and I probably won't play it. But I do appreciate the female Pokemon trainer figures, hence why I bought Gloria. You can't go wrong with Gloria and her little cute Scottish clothes even though she has an English accent. But it's okay. It's okay. It, it works out. It works out. Here is how Gloria looks. Oh, she's so good. Just looking at her is like making me smile. I wonder if you can feel my happiness just hearing me. Looking at Gloria reminds me of her Pokemon Masters voice actress because I love her little voice actress. She sounds so adorable. She actually sounds like a British kid. It's great. The thing that sucks about these figures is that you have to pre-order them as soon as possible because I've never seen a re-release of these figures, so they're pretty hard to get. It makes me sad knowing that I missed out on a lot of them. I only have like four of them, so every time they come out with one, I make sure to get it. 
Her facial expression is so cute and I like the details on her clothes. Everything about this figure is just so great. I just love the shoes. There's just something about shoes and the little green plaid design of her socks are so cute. Don't get me started on her backpack purse. The colors are so great. I love it. This is such a great figure. I don't even play Pokemon Sword and Shield, but you can't go wrong with the trainer design. And the top of her head is so cute. Look at that little ball of her little beret thing. And the details on her hair are great. And here's little Sobble crying because that's what Sobbles do. And this little pile of tears. This is so cute. I love it. I love how they come with their little starter Pokemon. Here's a 360 view of the figure. She's so good. I will still never play this game. I might emulate it or something, but to actually buy it? Nah, I don't think it's worth it. This game, wow. I have a lot of critiques about this game. I only like a handful of Pokemon in this game, which is kind of sad. I felt like they lacked on the designs a lot. Overall, I love this figure. Kotobukiya, you really do great figures. This next one is the Good Smile Company Dororo Hyakimaru Scale Figure. This one, oh man, this one is so nice. Dororo is such a good anime. It's not one of my favorites, but Hyakimaru really is a great character. I did not watch the 19-something version, but the 2019 version really is good. Mappa always does a good job, but man, they really gotta pay their animators a nice salary. This is how the base of the figure looks. It's like a stone platform for it. And it also comes with this broken sword that I have to put on the side of Hyakimaru's arm. So small. He is so beautiful. Look at his face. It's so beautiful. It's very stoic, but there's also a lot of life to it, if you know what I mean. The face enough is a, like a 10 out of 10 from me. Wow, it's so gorgeous. Love it. And this is how his arm looks. You can actually move it. He's supposed to be biting it, but it doesn't look that way. This is all like crusty and then his face is like so beautiful. Even the details on the sleeve are beautiful. This is a scale figure, that's why it's so nicely detailed. The details of his clothes, simply magnificent. Look at his hair, it's so flowy. There's a lot of life to this figure. This is another part that I attached to him. Wow, it's so good. I love these figures, man. Look at the detail of his sash around his waist. They look dirty and I think that's what's awesome about this figure too. Like the details of the dirtiness in a way is really great. And his sword on the side, simply magnificent. A lot of the shreds and the clothing is really nice. Even his feet, nice and beautiful. And then Krusty. But that's his fake leg, you know? Give this one a watch. It's a really good anime. This is how he looks on the rotation display so you guys get a better look at him. He is such a beautiful creature. My god, I love it. I just really love his face. It's just so nice. This poor kid went through so much, my god. I always love my hauls, they make me happy, but this one is one that I've been expecting for so long. So I'm really happy that I was able to unbox it to show all of you. But it was mostly for me. This is like my self-indulgent way of life. Totally worth it. I love you, Hyakimaru. Lastly, I got this mega house scale figure of Kaimon from Doro Head Doro. This is how the outside of the box looks. There's not much to it, you know, it's just a plain cardboard box that says Mega Tret Shop. I'm not gonna show the other sides because it's pretty much plain cardboard, but let's unbox Mr. Kaimon. Yo, 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 man, look at that grungy aesthetic. Wow, this box is awesome. It's really big. The box is pretty big. I love it. Look at Kaimon, the cool cursed lizard guy. He's actually really hot when you see his true face. But man, I am so happy just looking at him. This figure is extremely detailed. 
it's really amazing holy smokes you can see the spikes out of there that's so awesome the details in his eyes from the mask right there that's so cool you can see the red cross eye from the helmet i love those details right there look at that look at his chest that's so good and he's wearing like a leather jacket and everything even his pose is amazing like look at this the details in his jeans and his boots my god also it came with two knives so I attached this part onto this part that he's holding in his hand. Look at that, it's just so cool. Holy smokes, look at that. This is such a different figure that I have in my collection, to be honest. A lot of them are like cute ones, I guess you could say. And this one's just like different genre, grunginess. It's great. Even the boots, look at that, what the heck? what Ugh. the details on the shoes are great i love this guys i really do at first i was like mm, i don't know i just got it anyways but man it is so good look at his booty they even gave him a nice booty dang come on if you had your like real face that'd be great not his lizard face you know because this is the lizard face it comes with <laughs> he's under a curse guys but i mean monster monster people you know if you guys like your monsters come on is here for you ladies look at that that's so cool i'm usually not a fan of parts in figures like this like switching out like heads i probably won't switch his head anytime soon and this also goes with his head it's like his little hood for his sweater. This is how he looks with the little hood connected to it. Pretty good. Pretty good. And then, don't get me started on the base. Look at this. You don't really see bases <laughs> this detailed. Honestly, it's just a flat base. Kind of like Hyakimaru's figure. That one has a little more appeal to it. It's not plain or anything. But this one, this one is way too cool. Look at this is so cool. Wow, look at the cables there. Oh, that is so good. Just the base alone. This is so amazing. Rusty and bent and it's just... Wow, this figure is really amazing. I guess the best way to describe it is like grungy, steampunk, apocalyptic, dark fantasy. That's the best way to describe this figure and Dorohedoro as a whole. You can even see his footprints on the bottom of the base, which is great. Look at you can even see the, the moss or dirt. Either way, it's still so nice. There's so much to say about it. Like, and he's actually really heavy. He's just chilling on my hand like this. So this is how Kaimon looks on his base. Man, Kaimon looks so cool. I'm so happy with this purchase. Mega House really does amazing figures. This one is just, there's so much about it. I love the details like I keep mentioning. They're just, that's pretty much what makes this figure so awesome. And the base, wow, it's so cool. So this is how Kaimon looks with his lizard head on. I accidentally put his hood on the other way when I showed it earlier i always make these kinds of mistakes but this is how he looks and he looks pretty musty you just gotta love a musty lizard man i probably won't be putting that head on for a long long time but i'm really happy with it it's funny you got doro he doro dororo <laughs> that's pretty funny and both in the same haul like come on coincidence i think not this was an expensive haul because of the figures i bought but looking back at it it's really great. I pre-ordered two other Dorohedoro figures that I'm excited to get in my hands. I can't wait to show you guys. It's gonna be awesome. But yeah, this is such a great haul. I really enjoyed unboxing all the stuff I got, especially this Kaimon. It was worth every penny. So yeah, everyone, that was pretty much my 2021 Ami Ami haul. I'm so happy with all the things I got. They fill me with lots of serotonin. It was such a pleasure showing you guys what I got. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you all in my next unboxing. Bye!